Hallelujah. Just a wee few scriptures on uh, prayer. Jeremiah 33 reads like this. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Another few scriptures. We'll move over to Philippians 4, chapters, or verses, sorry, 6 and 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard our hearts and minds, which is in Christ Jesus. Prayer is both an act and an atmosphere. It is possible to live in an atmosphere of prayer. Is it possible that the mood of our life should be a prayerful mood? Let prayer be an attitude, not a dodgy. Let it be something that excites the heart. Let it be continually in communion with the Father. To know he is always near. To realise that he is only a prayer away in times of trouble and uncertainty. Be anxious, it says here in the Bible. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known unto God. Don't let the enemy silence you. Don't let him come with fear and with doubt in your mind that God is not going to answer you. Jeremiah 33 says it. Call unto me and I will answer and show you great and mighty things of which you know not. We don't know the timing, but God has promised in his word, and God is a God that cannot lie. He says, I will answer and show you great and mighty things of which ye know not. And I just pray today that you just be in that attitude of prayer continually. 2 Timothy 1.7 says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Christ has told us we have a sound mind. And the best way to keep a sound mind is to be continually in prayer with our Father in Heaven, even in our daily life, just talking to God, speaking to Him inside, speaking to Him audibly and inaudibly, just speaking to Him in your heart, and just being in that mood. As it says at the very start, prayer is both an act and an atmosphere. Let it be an act and an atmosphere of your life, your daily walk with Christ, and just be blessed today. I'm, I'm encouraging you today, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord where he may be found, is used as an evangelistic verse. But I believe God wants us to seek him now. Seek Christians, seek the Lord where he may be found, because he's coming back soon. Seek the Lord where he may be found in prayer for your family, for your loved ones, for people that are outside the kingdom, for friends that don't know Christ. Get on your knees, cry unto the Lord, and he will do great and mighty things of which ye know not. Hallelujah. Have a blessed day, and remember, always pray. Pray without ceasing, the Bible says. Pray without ceasing. Amen.